so what we got? Ashley, we got, listen, I want to tell you all, I have been following this young lady on Instagram for a while, and she is simply amazing. She is talented. She is lovely. And I'm so excited to have her join Spotlight Over the City tonight. Y'all, please give it up for Miss Ashley Kika. Hey. Hey. What's up, Hi, beautiful. Hey, thank you so much for having me. No, thank oh, you pleasure. so much for being a part of our Spotlight family. You are so super talented. And I just want to say, you know, I don't even know you, but I'm proud of you from afar. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm really proud of you. You've got some amazing things going on. You are a saxophonist, pianist, composer, singer, songwriter, and entrepreneur. And you study classical piano, girl. Well, wait a minute. Yes. yes. Time to I do told all this. y'all. You're not even old enough to do all of this. Now, wait I a minute. I told you. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a I great thing. I told you she is amazing. Why don't you uh, tell our audience some more things about you? I don't want to give it all. I want you to have an opportunity to tell them who Ashley is and, and how did you even go down this road, this musical journey of yours? Tell us a little bit about it. Well, I um, well just to start out with who I am, I play alto saxophone. That's my main instrument. And I also play piano. I perform a lot. I do, you know, I travel abroad and perform sometimes as well. And I also own a music school called Kiko Studios Music Academy, wow. which is located in Queens Village, New York. And so we're just so happy to be able to bring music education to this community, um, especially, you know, the, the children in, in this area, unfortunately, don't have many music programs in their schools. So I'm just so happy to be able to give back to my community and give children what I had, which is uh, beautiful music education. So uh, that's basically who I am. And I kind of traveled down this road. You know, I, it started when I was very young. I started with piano lessons and I just fell in love with the instrument. And later on, I wanted to continue doing music in my middle school, but uh, piano wasn't a band instrument. So I had to choose another instrument that could be played in a band. And so I had to choose saxophone. Well, I didn't have to, but <laughs> <laughs> my dad encouraged me to play saxophone because he had played when he was younger and we happened to have one at home. So I went with that. And then I fell in love with that instrument. And so I just stuck with both. And to this day, I love performing on both instruments. Oh, my gosh. Don't you I, love well, it? Well, that's a blessing. First of all, congrats on the school situation. That's so... How did you find time to put all this together so young? You're only 12. Like, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> How did you do all of this? I'm like, wow. Um, I I have been working hard from a very young age. I, I actually started teaching piano lessons when I was in high school. So uh. I was very young teaching students that were only a little bit younger than me. So I, I was teaching in my parents' martial arts school. Uh, they actually own a business as well, and it's called Zen Masters. It's also in Queens, New York. And so I, I had them as a role model in terms of just seeing entrepreneurs and how they operate. And so I was teaching in their business and it just kept growing over the years. And by the time I graduated from college, I was like, OK, I think I want to really do this music education thing. So I really went steam ahead and pursued it she did she's got her master's in music i love it you know what That's a big deal it's a big deal let's talk about your new album pursuit of harmony available yes. on all streaming platforms right Yep, it's available on all streaming platforms. I am over the moon that I finally released something. It has been a long time coming. A, a lot of people have been asking me over the years, when are you going to release something? And so I finally did it. And this new album, it is kind of like a, a compilation of two sides of myself. So I have, you know, the business side of me as well as the performer side of me. Uh, but not only that, within music itself, I tend to really enjoy more contemporary genres like hip hop, R&B, 
but then I also appreciate the old school as well. So I really wanted to combine both. Uh, so I have quite a few covers and quite a few originals as well. So it's really, you know, a pursuit of harmony, a balance between two different worlds. So I'm just combining a lot of different things together. We're going to listen to it on our next road trip because I, love I can't title. wait. I, I love, love the it. title, though. That's a great title. Mm-hmm. Pursuit I love of it. Harmony. That's I cool. love it. I, yeah. I'm so excited for you. Um, like I said, very proud of, of what you're doing. Um, before we, before, because you're, you're going to um, play something for us, right? Oh, am I? <laughs> Are you? <laughs> Are you performing for us? I can mean, we get a, I mean, can we get a sneak peek of, of something? Did we catch you off guard? <laughs> I don't know. I thought, I thought, I thought you, I thought in the um, email they said that you would play something live virtually. Um, if you, if you can, that would be great. But if you weren't prepared for it, yeah, that's, that's fine, fine too. Yeah. Um, I do want to um, ask you, who would you like to work with? Like, who would you like to collab with um, out of anyone out there in the industry? There are so many people I would like to collab with, but the first person that comes to mind is Beyonce. I, I always say Beyonce. <laughs> but um, a huge reason, not only because she's Beyonce, but uh, I was so inspired by her all-female band growing up. I would watch her performances, and I noticed that she would always have an all-female band. And so I would see, you know, female saxophonists and other instrumentalists and I was like okay girl power we can yes, do this girl power <laughs> yes, I love it so been so inspired by that so don't let that go because a friend of ours that's right here locally Ari um was just on IG playing the guitar and then she ended up on the on the run tour as for Beyonce's Beyonce guitar Jay-Z as the gu guitarist at 24 years I old so nice. that can happen. See, you got to hold on to that because that happened for her and she didn't think it could happen. I mean, I don't, I'm not saying she didn't think Keep it could happen. Keep doing those cover know. videos on Instagram. Yeah, Keep doing you never it. know who's watching you. You never know. Keep doing it, girl. Keep doing it. And so since you weren't prepared to play live today, we're going to have to get you to come back on the show and you're going to play live whatever song you choose. Two right. of them. You got to give us two of them since we couldn't do it today. We get two. Okay, you, no problem. Is that a deal? And in the meantime, you're going to let them know um, anything that you got coming up. and um, Yeah, let them know how they can support your album, how they can get it. Um, let everybody give all the information you want. Okay, so you can support me just by following online. I am on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, at Ashley Kiko. Kiko is spelled K-E-I-K-O. And you can also support even further by... Uh, supporting financially on Patreon. Patreon, is, it's basically like the OnlyFans, but for musicians. For musicians. Okay. <laughs> okay. Got you. Or I love it. Creative. Cool. Um, so, you know, I, I share behind the scenes footage and different things like that on Patreon, and you can also support financially there. Uh, and one of the things that I'm working towards is making music videos for some of the songs on my recent album. So I'm really looking forward to releasing some videos. Uh, it would be, you know, my first videos that I would be releasing. And then along with that, I'm just looking forward to performing live again. It's been a while because of the pandemic. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to performing live and hopefully traveling you know, across the U.S. to perform in different locations. So. Like down here in the studio at Spotlight yeah. Over the City when yeah. you come to, D yeah. to the D.C. <laughs> area. <laughs> Hey, I'm yes. super proud of you, though. I love what you're doing, and I love how you're moving, and I definitely love that title. I think that's yes. an amazing uh, title that you picked. Very um, proud. By the way, how did you choose that title? Well, I mean, it was, it was basically, you know, me trying to figure out what I wanted to focus on in terms of the different sides of myself. I, you know, I have my business side, my performance side, and you know, my old school side, my new school side. And so <laughs> I was really in such a pursuit of balance in my life. So I didn't want to say pursuit of balance. I felt like harmony was a better word for that. I did too. That's how that came about. <laughs> I like it. I, I love, love it. it. I love it. I love, I it. love it. it. Well, we have really, truly enjoyed you. And I I really do. I, I mean what I say when I want you back on the show so that you can, so that our viewers and listeners can hear you perform live virtually. I know you're going to kill it. So we will, yeah. we will do that later in the year. And um, y'all want to give it up one more time for one Ashley time. Kiko. Woo! 